Hello and welcome to Excel-DashboardTemplates.com. This is Steve Equals True. Please visit my blog at Excel-DashboardTemplates.com where you're sure to get the latest posts, tips, tricks, and techniques and learn everything about Excel. Also, please sign up for my video channel so you're sure to get the latest video delivered directly to your inbox. All right, today we had an Excel user who asked this question um, for a specific set of data. They wanted to know if they could remove the white space from a clustered column chart. So you see here the REF uh, series within the grouping of 4M. Here it is in 256K and here it is under 6K. There's just a lot of white space. They don't have different data points and he wanted to know, can I get rid of this white space? Uh, to be honest, I thought this was an incredibly hard challenge. I uh, really wasn't quite sure uh, I could remember how to do it. Um, and uh, Don showed me how quick and easy this was. And let's go ahead and show you for the specific set of data how easy this was. Now, um, here's the data. And um, I'm going to post a future challenge uh, with the harder set of data. But uh, we kind of lucked out here. So this reference is in its own column. And Don, one of uh, my fans, uh, said, Steve, you can just do it this way. Highlight your data range. Go up to your insert, insert ribbon go over to your charts group and click on the insert column chart uh, button and yeah, pick list and we're going to do a clustered column chart. Now let's move this up here a little bit and make it a little bit bigger so you can see. So you can see the reference has all of this white space um, versus the 816, 32, 64. There's just all of this white space. How can we get rid of it? He said just simply go in here, select that data series, right click and choose format data series or you can press the control one key which is going to bring up the format data series dialog box now I'm using Excel 2013 now and so it's kind of over in this menu section not sure what to call it just yet I'll have to find that out but either the dialog box or this menu area is going to have series options and you just want to choose secondary access once you do that look at that lo and behold this is now centered and uh, you've removed a lot of the white space so um, I think that that was simple enough and kind of gets us to uh, where we want to be. It's centered, it's above the reference, uh, you can expand it if you'd like to get rid of some more of the white space, but I think that's simple enough. I don't know that I would do anything more complicated with this chart. Um, I'll show you some other series where it, it gets even more complicated uh, in part two in a future Friday challenge. So. Thanks for visiting my blog, and also uh, don't forget to sign up as a user with my video channel. Once again, this is Steve Equals True from Excel-DashboardTemplates.com.